In this tutorial I'm going to show you the basics of using Steersoft day to day. This is the top level screen. If you ever get lost, touch the buttons in the top left corner until you get back to the screen. I'm going to create some demo data to get straight in to seeing how Steersoft works once set up. There. The screen I use most is today's classes. This gives me an overview of the lessons I will teach today. I can flick backwards and forwards to see other days. If I lose where I am, I can touch the Today button at the bottom of the screen. Just touch a class to see its attendance screen. Today's date is highlighted at the top. Now tap an entry once to mark someone present. The red diagonal strokes indicate a student being present going up for morning lessons and down for the afternoon. Tap an entry twice to mark someone absent. A black O indicates an absence. You can keep tapping to cycle through present, absent, late, arrive late and left early. The little clock is at the start and at the end. And then left early, cancelled lesson, or this could be that the student's no longer in the class, and then back round to being blank. You can flick up and down to see other students and left and right to see other days. If you know most of your students are present, you can touch the date at the top to flood fill the session. This floods any entries you didn't already mark as present or absent. If you touch the date again, it cycles to mark everyone absent. It then goes on to a cancelled lesson and then back to blank. To add a note to an entry or assign a code letter, for example to authorise an absence, touch and hold still the entry you wish to alter. So I will touch down and release. The letters at the bottom allow you to apply quick code letters. The four letters shown over time will reflect your most frequent uses. Otherwise, touch the other code button and choose the code you want. At the top, you can add a written note for this entry. It's not very big, but you can flick backwards and forwards to see other students for this session here. You can also use this screen to mark attendance, for instance starting at the top and tapping present or absent appropriately. By default, this Auto Move button is selected so that when you mark an attendance date, it automatically moves on to the next student. If you make any mistakes, just touch the Undo button at the bottom. There. Any data entry is saved as you enter it, so no need to press the Save button, we just press the top left button to return to the class when we're finished. At the bottom of this screen there is also an undo option and next to it there's a copy button. This allows you to repeat particular attendance codes more quickly. Touch the copy button to enter copy mode. The button becomes highlighted to show this. Touch the code you wish to copy. I'll touch the absent P code. Now touch where you want to copy to. And finally touch the copy button again to exit copy mode. From this screen you can touch a student to view or change their details. You can also use the instant logging feature from the student screen. You can also attach a note for this whole class. There is just one such note and it's not tied to a particular date. If you synchronise your device within a larger school deployment, you may also see other notices and messages at the top and bottom of this screen. So let's recap the main things. Touch once for present, twice for absent. Touch the date to flood fill and touch and hold for extended code options. Touch the help button to remind yourself of the various other features. 
Finally, before leaving this screen, let me mention that you can use pinch gestures to zoom in and to zoom out. Back in the Today screen, we can see that green ticks indicate that attendance has been marked. A red exclamation mark indicates attendance is not yet recorded. Lessons that haven't happened yet show no icon. Stisoff uses the current time and your timetable information to highlight the current class, if appropriate. Back at the top menu, you can also access class attendance screens via the All Classes list or on the full version via the timetable. Note that you can rotate the timetable screen if you prefer to see it in landscape. That's all for this tutorial, but please see the other tutorials for guidance on setting up your data and on using the instant logging feature. Thank you for trying Steersoft. We hope you like it and find it to be useful.